Biotech is finally getting its groove back. Biotech stocks and exchange-traded funds are showing signs of life again. The Vanek Biotech ETF, BBH, is up 11% over the past month. The BBH is still in the red on a year-to-date basis, but investors could be in store for better things in 2023. The biotech sector has had a bumpy ride in recent years, but there's still value to be had in the space. Biotechnology companies typically trade at rich premiums relative to the broader market because of their reputation for growth and innovation. The sector's struggles are potentially adding to the allure of these funds. The company's mRNA technology is underappreciated right now, says Karen Anderson Morningstar Analyst. There are other types of gene-based treatments and testing that show a lot of potential. Biomarine Pharmaceutical Inc. NASDAQ BMRN, is another example of a BBH component that's currently undervalued. The company, which accounts for 2. 51% of BBH, has an impressive pipeline and should be able to maintain its profitability profile. CRISPR Therapeutics, Nasia, and Insight, NASCAR NZ, are also part of the BBH portfolio. Gold Nugget. It turned out to be a meteorite, dating back 4.6 billion years. It is a type of mineral found in the Earth's crust, and scientists have used a diamond saw to cut off a small piece for analysis. The material weighs more than 17 kilograms, 37.5 pounds. Meteorites provide clues to the age, formation, and chemistry of our solar system. Some provide a glimpse of the deep interior of our planet. Once open, you can also see the tiny crystallized droplets of metallic minerals throughout it. Says Tim the workhorse function of Starship Some meteorites is going to be contain conducted organic here, molecules says such as Bella. amino acids, the building That's blocks our goal of life. Anyway. Says Eventually, gravity pulled a lot of this material together into planets, but it mostly ended up in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter.